win uh, the debate uh, against a Muslim to prove to him that the Quran justifies killing innocent people. Your uh, argument to a Muslim would be shut the f up, you dot 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 dot. Well, you see, the guy he is doing that you are talking about, I don't do that at all. I prove that Islam filthy without using the effort. And by the way, if you complain about the effort, I can show you your Prophet Muhammad. He did use it many times when he was speaking to Muslims. So before you teach people about not to use the F word, you know, go and see your prophet who said that I am just a human. If somebody I say curse or call dirty words to him, you know, sababtuhu aw shatamtahu, qad sharattu rabbi, I made a condition with my God, that's the one I curse him, the one I say F word to him, he will pay him wages. So according to your prophet, he said the F word to a Muslim, the Muslim will get wages. And your prophet, he himself, he practiced that. So why you are angry from an atheist man for using the F word? At least he is not saying, I follow a prophet of God. When a prophet of God, he act this way, why you blame an atheist? You Muslims are weird. And now listen, what if I show you in a very clear evidence in front of your eyes, not like the atheists do, that Quran justify killing of innocent people big time. I will give you one only. By the way, I have a lot of proofs. But I will give you one by one to see how good you are. As long as you don't like debate by calling names. I like that. But I want to hear your answer. This is a surah in the Quran. And this is your Islamic website, not my website. Tafsir. This website is very well known. The tafsir.com. You see it? This is not my website. This is not a Christian website. This is your Islamic reference. And this is a Jalalain explanation. And you can go to different explanation if you want. We have no problem. Because all of them they are saying the story as it is. There is two prophets. One of them is Moses and the other one his name Al Khudr. And the Quran says that Al-Khadr, Allah, he, teach him that he taught him the, all, all the mercy. Imagine all the mercy. Okay, let us see the mercy prophet of Allah, what he did. When he was walking down the street, he saw a little boys. Boys playing. He picked one of them, of those boys, and he slew him. The prophet, his name Al-Khadr, he slew him. Slighting his throat with a knife while he, while he lay down. Or by tearing his head off. You see, the, imagine the, the mercy of Allah. He's a little boy, was playing with boys. The prophet, he saw him. He cut his throat and then he, you know, he took his head off. You see, maybe he want to play a basketball. We don't know. Let us see what the, what the story. And then he was smashing his head against a wall. Of which are different opinion. But all of them, by the way, they say the same story. Some of them, they say he cut his head and he was smashing him in the ground. Some of them, they say he cut his head smashing him with the wall because you know some of them they say he cut his head and he smashed him with a rock in any way he was smashing the head by hitting the head either by wall or by the ground or by a rock now what he did too if you go to Ibn Kathir or Al-Qurtubi or Al-Tabari this is, I'm reading an explanation now if you read in Arabic you will see he was taking meat from his body and specifically from his neck and his shoulder and when the other prophet he asked him Moses why you are doing that he said we will see and here you will see that the prophet who was walking with this Khadr the, the both of them they are prophet but Al Khadr he is the wiser man the, the one who is killing he is the wise man he is the merciful man <laughs> the other prophet is learning now he's a student so listen so he asked him, why you killed an innocent soul? He is a pure, he didn't do anything. 
He is not even rich the age of legal responsibility. So why you killed him? Do you know what he said? He said, I killed him because this kid, when he grew up, he will leave Islam. He will leave Islam. This is the continue of the story. We did read it from verse 74 all the way to verse number 80 to know why he killed him because the other guy he don't know yet. He was questioning him why you killed an innocent boy. Look what he said. And as for the boy, he's a boy. Do you see it? He is a boy. His parents was, were a believer. They are Muslims. And we freed lest he should overwhelm them with insolence and disbelief. Wow. So this good, he will dishonor his family, the Muslim family, because he will not be a good believer. He will not be a believer. So he killed him and he smashed his head and he tortured him and he was cutting his, you know, his meat from his shoulder, from his body. And because of that, because he will not be a believer, we have to dispose them. We have, and he, ha he lived longer than he should. He don't deserve it. So you are telling atheists that in Islam there is no killing for honest and people. This is a kid, a little boy. And this is your website. And this is your book. And this is your Quran. And this is your prophet explaining the verses. Have you ever heard about something ugly like this? The boy even, he is a Muslim. He is from a Muslim family. He is a believer. He will leave Islam in the future when we grow up. Let us cut his throat. Ta -da -da -da. But remember, Islam is peace. And by the way, Quran is for every time, which means this story will teach Muslims what to do today. Remember, if somebody told you that Quran is made for 1400 years ago, this is not true because Muslims, you can ask any Muslim, they will say this is a Quran, this is a law for every time. So in the year 2007, if a Muslim, he heard or he felt or he been told by his God, Allah, let us say he go to bed and he saw a dream, a vision from his God, saying to him, your son, he will leave Islam today or tomorrow or next week or next year or after 20 years, you have to cut his throat. This is the mercy of Islam and this is how great is Allah. So I want to see Mr. Liquid Sky if you can answer. And by the way, I invite you to debate me in my chat room to see if you can make it really. And you will see that you will be in this ability to prove me wrong, accept my challenge. Come to my page and say I accept to debate you. Set up a time and we will see if Islam filthy or not. And the debate will be you're a prophet. Good man or filthy man. No name calling. Facts only. Be my guest. And sword of Islam, the one you are defending him, he is out of Islam. This guy who was arguing with me a week ago. A week after he's out of Islam. Let me see you might be next. And then you will shave your beard. Huh? Try me once, never again. Jesus is Lord, Islam is false, I mean.